John, bye for pre-season. Ready to start the push for another campaign on all fronts. How are you feeling? Good. It's always exciting this time of year, you know, in terms of coming back and uh, off the back of a very successful season. You know that the hard work starts now. What we do now in the next period kind of teases up and sets us up uh, for the season ahead. So it's, it's exciting. Uh, we'll get the boys in, get them training well, um, get our kind of games and our tours done, and then we'll be all ready to go when the season comes. How important is it, how important was it for you and the boys to get a complete break, not just physically, but mentally as well? I think it's good. And this, you know, the fact that you go straight into the Champions League you know, is a big benefit for us because we can, we can plan the pre-season out in advance. You don't have to kind of work around your know, playoff games. So it's really, really clear for us. We know what we need to, we need to do in that time frame. Um, we're kind of well organised with that. Obviously, Brendan's here and he'll put his own stamp on that. But um, you know, everything's in place in regards to the scheduling and the games. You know, and that'll give everybody the, the game time and the minutes they need to, to be ready to go when the season starts. Because that's, you know, we need to start well. That's that's always important for us that we go off to a good start. Yeah, being a, a veteran of this situation, John, what does it take character-wise for the players to come back off a successful season like last year and go again? It's it's not easy, you know, in terms of dealing with the success, especially with a, a younger group who maybe don't uh, have so much experience in this in this regard. Um, but you've got guys like Callum and James Forrest and the guys in there who have been through this before. They know how much the next one's often even, even more difficult. So, you know, it's great you get the plaudits, you celebrate at the end of the season, but you know that, you know, when you restart, that that's, that's gone. You know, that, that celebration, that has to get part and you have to make sure that you're, you're striving to do what you can again to be as successful as you can be. So we know it takes a lot of hard work. You know, that groundwork takes place in pre-season. So again, we'll, we'll certainly not start lightly and, and bleed away in. We'll be... We'll be straight in, uh, the foot will go down and we'll, we'll charge on, but uh, it'll be a, take a great effort again, you know, and collective effort at that. It's not a case of, you know, the same players going out there and trying to re-achieve. You know, there'll be, there'll be changes in the group, as there always is in these, in these moments, um, but these guys have to kind of step up again and, and, and deliver for the club because, you know, that's what the club's all about, being successful. You've been here in a number of positions and worked under a lot of managers, but how pleased are you to have Brendan Rodgers back, a man you know very well? Yeah, terrific. I mean, we've uh, worked together in the past, um, had success in that period, and he's one who I've, I've kept in close contact with in my, in my time and the time he's been away. Um, so it's great to have him back. Obviously, coming off the back of you know successful period the last two seasons, um, Brendan will come in. He knows the club inside out. He knows the, the staff here, that are here, most of them anyway. Um, and he's going to work with a new group of players who are still young, hungry, and striving for success. So he'll enhance the whole process. He, uh, he's got tremendously high standards, you know, kind of stickler for detail um, and he's a terrific guy to work for so it's it's great for the club to have him back, great for us in terms of relationship wise it's, it's been there the whole time, I have a great relationship with him, he's a great guy to work for, thoroughly enjoyed my uh, time with him last time and you know hopefully there's more of us him. And, and coming back off such a, a successful season, how much of a motivation is it for you and particularly for the players to, to have a manager that can, that can take a, a club in a successful position but still feel hungry and still see a challenge to improve? Yeah, and he'll, he'll not let anyone, you know, slip into the mindset of thinking they've achieved. You know, the reality is you've achieved, you know, you respect that and you park it, but you've got to achieve again. That's what, that's what the club demands. So, uh, as I said before, some of the guys have, have been in, and done it, some haven't, so it'll be a new experience for them. But, you know, Brendan, the last time off the back of a treble, went and delivered another one. Um, so he knew, you know, in terms of experience, what it took to actually achieve that and how, how great a demand there was to, to go and, and deliver again. So... Um, it's not going to catch him by surprise. He knows what the club demands um, and he'll be certainly hungry for more success himself. I'm sure a lot of the, the, the management style between Brendan and Ange will be similar, but there are differences as well. For those players who are used to just working under Ange, what, what, what will they get fr from Brendan in terms of, of a different style? Ange, am I right in saying, is perhaps a bit more, more, more standoffish? Whereas Brendan is very much more of a presence around the, the training ground. Yeah, I mean Andrew's there all the time. You know, again, somebody who's also has very high standards. You know, terrific at what he did um, in terms of his his management here and and how he dealt with everything. You know, very successful period. Brendan is a different character altogether. You know, in terms of how he, he likes to be more involved in terms of being around people, um, a bit more socially as well, and that's his style. Um, and that's how he gets you know into people's minds and, and gets the best out of them. Andrew was a different character in terms of how he drawn, uh, drew the best out of other people. So, you know, the two different styles, you know, both very successful in what they do and very good at what they do. Um, but again, for the players, there's a change, a new character in the building, uh, someone they'll have to prove themselves to again. And, and hopefully that'll be a real stimulus for them to, you know, really kick on pre-season and, and go into the, the season with real hunger and desire to, to be successful again.